It's truly an honor. I am so happy to be here with my sisters. I'm Shangela, hallelujah. Ooh. I'm Eureka, the elephant human hybrid queen, because that's what I decided to be a whore. Oh. <laughs> and my name is Bob the Drag Queen. Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. You may know me as a comedian, actor, and grinder enthusiast. <laughs> Yes, that was you. Now, welcome to our comedy concert. Woo! Yes, now for over 30 years, GLAD has used these awards to raise the bar for LGBTQ representation. And tonight, we are going to celebrate all of those media, music, and more of an accepting of the LGBTQIA community, honey. Yes. Right. yes. That's right, baby. We have every color in the rainbow, and next we are coming for every letter in the alphabet. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, you know what? We also would like to recognize some of the inanimate objects which have really given us life this year. And a few of those that have really messed us up. Okay, something that gave us life. How about Cornbread's Chicken Leg Choker? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gave Ooh, us life. <laughs> well, well, I'm back. <laughs> but this truly messed us up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bob, tell them who this was. Yeah, this is uh, Kristen Cinema's uh, denim vest, which she wears while preventing the passage of the Equality Act. Now, mm -hmm. Senator, we know that you're by. Uh, boom! 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 <laughs> It's not like you're at one of my shows. <laughs> <laughs> now, baby, listen, we, Senator, we know you're bi, but you're gonna have to pick a lane when it comes to equality, okay? That's right. Uh -huh. Now, also, now this gave us life, honey. You remember? Life. Life. Yes. Oh. Almost made me believe in God again. You remember Lil Nas X's wardrobe malfunction. That was the moment where every bottom in America simultaneously reared up on their hind legs like the meerkats in The Lion King. You remember that? That was the one. That was the yeah. one. It's really nice to be here. That's why I love this community, this welcome and the love. Thank you so much for having me. It's a, it's a late night, so I'll try and make this brief, but honoring of our friend, Michaela J. Rodriguez. Before I launch into praise for the incredible Michaela J., I just want to say, um, take a moment to acknowledge this incredible community. You all inspire me to create art that leads to acceptance and empathy for LGBTQ people, just as you inspire Jonathan Larson. Our entire team is so honored that Tick Tick Boom is nominated for a Glad Media Award this year. And I was, especially, I was especially grateful to play Jonathan because it gave me the opportunity to become friends with one of the most talented women in this business, Michaela J. Rodriguez. <laughs> Through her art and her heart, and what a heart, I don't know anyone with a bigger heart than MJ, Michaela. <laughs> Michaela J is making sure the world respects black women, Latinas, and women, and all women as we should. In a moment of reckoning for our, our industry, she is leading the charge to create and produce stories centered on LGBTQ lives and experiences, particularly those of trans women of color. She reminds us that you can't just say you're an ally. Allyship means action. And her, her courage, her vulnerability, her talent, and her heart inspire me deeply to love others as boldly as I can. Tonight is, is, is our baby's night. So I'm proud to present GLAD Stephen F. Kolzak Award to our queen, Michaela J. Rodriguez. What you need to survive and thrive as a trans person in this world is people who see you, who see the real you. My acting coach, Terrence L. Kennedy, saw me. He got me ready. Then Freddie Walker Brown saw me. And if y'all don't know who she is, she's the beautiful black woman that was the original Joanne in Rent. Okay? She saw a child who needed to flourish and pushed me into, in front of Michael Greif, who was the director of Rent. Michael Greif saw me, and he gave me the traditional theater direction that made me so strong. Mm, I guess that's the reason why Tick Tick Boom was so special to me, huh? <laughs> it truly came full circle. Then, thank God to Ryan Murphy, who saw me. 
I literally say he's the Clive Davis to my Whitney Houston. Like, seriously, I mean, <laughs> Brick City all day. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> and I'm so grateful to Ryan, Brent Falchuk, Nina Jacobson, Brad Simpson, Janet Mock, Our Lady J, Stephen Canals, and my incredible post cast, Billy, India, Dominique, Angelica, Haley, Delon, Ryan, Jamal, Sway, and so many beloved friends who ate fake spaghetti around that fake ass table. You're on that end. But of course, I have to thank my mother and my father for seeing and loving me. Hey, mommy. That's my mama right there. trying to cry tonight. Y'all really got <laughs> Look good! Thank you! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You know, when a child is loved, whether you're LGBTQA or not, it makes all the difference. When you tell your queer child that you love them, they think, I love me too. I thank all the parents in Texas, Florida, Idaho, Arizona, and all around the world who are standing up to fear and ignorance and grounding their LGBTQAI children in love and acceptance. I thank the house mothers and the house fathers who step up when the real parents can't. And most of all, I thank my mama for loving me the right way. The way any black mother should when it comes to a queer child that's trying to find their way into the world and find some understanding. Mom, tonight they understand. And now it is time for Final Jeopardy, and your category is Eleganza Extravaganza. Oh, 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 oh hold up, baby. <laughs> Am I gonna have to sew something? I hope not. <laughs> I, I, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, sorry. The, the category is okay. Catwoman. Ooh, you ooh, ooh. <laughs> There you go. Bring it up here. The best Catwoman. Oh, okay. You uh, have 30 yeah. seconds, good luck. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna uh, wager the price of one gallon of gas. It's getting risky out here. <laughs> now, I'm gonna go with Holly Berry because she won a Razzie for that one, and I'm always rooting for a cat that's also an underdog. <laughs> I'm here all week. Try the brisk. <laughs> Do not condone this. Uh -huh. Do not. Uh, Shangela. Um, okay, I know this one. I know this one. I know this one. Okay, I, um, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so the cat, yes. This is a lady, I know this. She got 45 cats. She lived down the street from my grandma. Her name is Mary Agnes Wallace. <laughs> and she is the cat lady. Mary Agnes Wallace for oh, the Agnes. That, I, I'm sorry, we are looking again for a cat woman, cat not a cat lady. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are the kit. <laughs> Eureka. Um, I don't know about you, Miss Kitty, but I feel so much yummier. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer, bitch. Good answer, good answer. Yeah. Yeah. Survey yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Again, wrong show, but you are all correct. <laughs> you are all champions. So congratulations to all of you, and let's stay glad, huh? <laughs> yeah! I want that! Tonight, I'm calling on Hollywood to take meaningful action and we will soon convene the biggest brands, agencies, studios, and streamers together with two goals. One, improve the quality, quantity, and diversity of LGBTQ images, especially in kids and family programming. And two, speak out. Use your voice against anti-LGBTQ legislation and for the Equality Act. I expect every industry executive in this room tonight that you will join us when we call you. GLAD will give you the playbook. We will give you the playbook. We will not 
give you a pass. We are determined to protect all that has been accomplished from marriage equality to trans representation in Hollywood while leading a new path forward for this next generation. That means we are fighting for a world that sees gender as fluid, gender expression as a human right, and we will ensure that this growing number of Gen Zers who are queer are safe in their identity, orientation, and expression, and they're free from discrimination and bias. For nearly 40 years, GLAD has been working to change culture so you can be who you are without fear or repercussions. Together, as a community, we are marching toward a new world, a world without boxes, without judgment, a world who, where you can love who you love and be who you are. Are. Please join us and thank you for being here tonight. We love you. Thank you. When my husband Adam and I considered who would travel here this evening to represent our family and the countless families just like ours, the thought of leaving Max and Lulu behind in Texas was simply not an option. So all four of us are here together. <laughs> That means so much, y'all. <laughs> you. All four of us are here together, at least for today. While a court has barred Texas from investigating parents of trans kids, who knows if that temporary ban will be lifted or what the next political attack will be. I want parents everywhere to know that my child is no different than any other. I am offended when people say that trans people are somehow a threat because the threat is, threat is towards trans people, not the other way around. I have never, never shed a tear because my child is trans, never. But I am angry every single day because of the way the world treats my son. <laughs> Y'all have so much power to make a better world for all LGBTQ young people. You can change the narrative with just one tweet. So when you're making TV shows and movies and writing stories on the news, I am begging you humanize and normalize families with trans kids and trans people of every age and background. If you want an example, here's a spot that GLAAD helped put together. Comcast, NBC, Universal, Warner Media, and the Walt Disney Company will now run our PSA in living rooms across the country. Take a look. Do you want to meet a family with a transgender kid? Here we are. Max loves to do backflips. Max loves to play his ukulele. Max loves to just be a kid and just be himself. When I found out I was pregnant, all I really wanted was a happy, healthy, whole child. And that's what I got. If you've never met a transgender child before, what I want you to know is that that child is no different than yours. 
they have the same hopes and dreams and deserve the same equality as your child does. We tell our kids as often as we can that we love them in as many ways as possible. There are some politicians who are trying to tear my family apart simply because my son is transgender. Trans kids don't have a political agenda. They are just kids. They just want to be left alone. My family's just like yours. We love our kids unconditionally, and we will never stop fighting for them. Stand with us. Protect our families.